Welcome to a new vlog. Today it's a short video about another PCB service I've tested. So I have this project that I'm working on which involves an e-paper display. I needed a breakout board for the flat flex connector of the e-paper display as well as the required circuitry to drive the e-paper display. Then there is the option of having a top side contact uh, connector or a bottom side one depending on which connector you choose to solder so you would have the pin order reversed depending on that and so on. So PCBWay.com contacted me and asked if I would like to review their PCB service. I said yes and I ordered my design through their website. Now my design doesn't have anything special. I could go through the standard prototyping service without any additional costs. However, I wanted to test some uh, 0.2 millimeter drill holes on the board just for fun and that immediately moved my design into a different tier on their website which upped the costs quite a bit. But since these uh, boards were, go were going to be free, I didn't care about that and so I left my uh, test vias of 0.2 millimeters on the board. I had a few issues with their website because uh, it feels very cluttered unlike other PCB services that I've used before. I mean with the PCB Fab House website what you want is really a big button for code now that takes you to a page where you can just upload your Gerber files and the system does the rest. Also you're supposed to put in the PCB size and uh, specs by hand and then upload Gerber files which I find it's an unnecessary step because they could just scan the Gerber files and automatically identify the board size without me having to enter that manually. I've told them about this and they said they will consider uh, improving how the system works. Just before submitting my order I checked my Gerber files on their online uh, Gerber viewer. Um, it looked fine then I submitted my order but they contacted me by email saying my solder mask is a negative layer and asked if they should proceed with that or not. Now the strange thing is that my Gerber files looked okay in their online Gerber viewer but not in their backstage processing software. So that is confusing for the customer. I think they need to improve on that. If something looks right on your uh, Gerber viewer that you show on your website, it's not okay to uh, contact the customer and say there is something wrong with, uh, with their files. Now it turns out the problem is caused by an option in Eagle CAM processor, which is checked uh, to generate negative solder mask layers in the case of uh, uh, my config. But that was uh, not a problem with other board houses that I've used. PCBWay though requests you to untick that option from Eagle and generate the Gerber files again. Now after this issue has been fixed and I sent them the new Gerber files, uh, the board went into manufacturing and finished pretty fast. It shipped pretty fast uh, via DHL. In fact, I was surprised to see it delivered at my door in just a few days. I wasn't uh, really expecting it to arrive that fast. So here are the PCBs I received. They are what you expect, good quality, but nothing out of the ordinary, nothing that you wouldn't get on another PCB fab house. Now on the back I've uh, added different uh, size text so that I could uh, check out the silk screen quality and it seems to be very good quality on the silk screen but uh, more on that subject and other aspects of board quality will be presented in a written blog post. So if you'd like to read more uh, or see more close-up pictures of these uh, PCBs, I will place a link in the description to the blog post. Also, if you'd like to know more about the e-paper project, well, I can't share more info right now. I need to finish the project before I will present it here on the channel. So please be patient and stay subscribed. It should be a pretty cool project. For now, thank you for watching and I'll see you next week.